Number 77. In this problem, you will verify blah. Letter A. What current is needed to transmit 100 megawatts of power at a voltage of 25 kilovolts? So we got to relate power, voltage, current. PIV. Power is equal to current multiplied by voltage. Solve this for current. So simply divide out the voltage from both sides. And all I'm going to do is literally plug it in. So the power, but you got to have the right units. Remember, this is megawatts. We need that in watts. So simply take the 100 multiplied by 10 to the 6. Then the voltage here, they gave it in kilovolts, but we need that in volts. So simply take the 25 and multiply it by 10 to the third. And simply now plug it on in. So essentially this will be 100 times 10 to the sixth divided then by 25 times 10 to the third. And we get a value of about 4,000 or AKA 4.0 times 10 to the third uh, amps. All right. However many sig figs you need, I guess I should have added a zero there, but um, yeah. Everyone cares about it in the beginning, but then at the end, nobody cares. So letter B. So find the power loss in a uh, one ohm transmission line. So now basically what we have to do is we're going to have to use the formula power is equal to I squared times R. Because whatever the current, whatever current is flowing through that wire, whatever resistance that is uh, uh, experiencing will then equal the power that is being lost to that resistance. So all we now have to simply do is plug it on in. So this is going to be 4 times 10 to the 3 times in the resistance of, and don't forget to square that, please. And then that's just times the resistance of 1. Not really sure what that hyphen is doing over there, but anyway. So this is going to be 4 times 10 to the 3 squared. And that works out to be now about 1.6 times 10 to the 3, 6, 7. There you go. And that is now in watts, okay? All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Please remember, oh, wait a minute. Nope, please don't remember to subscribe yet. Well, you could subscribe, but what percent loss does this represent? So now what we have to do is we should now find the total power, all right, that is being supplied, and we would now use the voltage formula. So V squared over R. So then this is going to be the voltage. This is the 25 times 10 to the third squared all over the resistance now, which was one. So this is now, this will represent now the total power supplied. So this is 25 times 10 to the three squared. And that works out to be about 6.25, 6.25 times 10 to the, what do we got? Three, six, seven, eight. All right. Whoops, eight, and that's now watts. So uh, what percent does this represent, uh, uh, what percent loss does this represent? So if you know that this is the amount lost and this is the total, Simply take the loss and divide it by the total. 1.6 times 10 to the 7th, all divided by 6.25 times 10 to the 8. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's plug that on in. Then divided by that. 0 0.0256, or and then, well, it said percent, right? So why don't we then multiply that by 100? And that will then equal 2.56, 2.56%. Thank you, guys. Now, you can subscribe if you want, if you haven't already, and hit that like button. We'll see you soon.